今日もイエスを見るシリーズを続きます。And today we're continuing our series called Look at Jesus and we'll be looking in the Gospels for the most part. 主に福音書を参照します。今日は耐えられた課題はイエスは呼びかけ、訓練し、発見することとなっています。And our topic for the day is、uh, Jesus Calls, Trains, and Sins. It is based mainly on Matthew 10, 1-7 and Luke 10, 1-12. 主にまたいによる福音書10章一節から7節とルカ10章一節から12節に基づいたお話です。まずちょっと復習して始めましょう。Let's begin with a little bit of review. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers. Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And this is Matthew 4 18. Matai 4 18. Jesus was Gadadai Ako no Hotori o Arvite o Rare te Togi. Futari no Kyodai Petro to Yobade du Shimon to Sono Kyodai Andade ga. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. And at once they left their nets and followed him. アンドレイとシモン・ペトロへの呼びかけが載せられています。シエスはもう私に従いなさい。私についていきなさい。と言われたところです。その二人は従いました。Here we have the place where Jesus calls Simon, Peter, and Andrew, and they hear his call and follow him. And this idea of calling is very important throughout the Bible and in our lives today. ここにこの呼びかけということは、もう聖書全体に、また現代にも意味深いことです。エフェソ4章11節12節にこうあります。そして、ある人を死と、ある人を預言者、ある人を福音宣教者、ある人を牧者、教師とされてのです。こうして、聖なる者たちは星の技に適した者とされ、クリストの体を作り上げてゆき。ここではもう5つのあーリーダーシップの役目が載せられていますけれども、その後、聖なる者たちの星のことも指しています。それはもうあーサンビーチーム、ツヤクシャ、日曜学校、Uh, そして多くの役目が含まれているでしょう。私たち一人一人には何かの呼びかけがあります。Ephesians 4, 11-12 It was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers, to prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. So we have five roles here named that we might call leadership roles, but then also we have the idea of preparing God's people for works of service. So to each of us, for each of us, God has a calling to some type of work of service, whether it's in leadership or whether it's in some other role. And of course, these include all those things like the praise team and the interpreters, the Sunday school workers, and so many more things.、Uh, each of us has a calling from God. And a season for each calling in our lives. Let's continue from Matthew 9 35. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. Now, it's not mentioned in this verse, but obviously the disciples were continuing to follow him and they were with him. And they were listening to Jesus' teaching and they were watching the things that he did. So they're being trained by Jesus by just having them follow and watch what he does and learn from him. Yes, wa machi ya muda o nokorazu, mwate, kaido de oshie, 
Mikuni no fuku no nobitstai, arito ari yuru, bioki ya wazurai o ya sarita. Kore wa matai kyusho sanjugo setsu. Koko de wa mo deshi toyu no wa mo kono seiku ni no serarete inai desu kiri de mo. Mochiran deshi tachi mo maru shitugatte itte de shou. So ste deshi tachi wa shies no oshie ni mimi o katemu ite so ste sono kodo o subete kansatsu ste itte de shou. So de kore wa mo deshi tachi no kunnen to naru koto mo arimasu. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Mata gunshu ga kainushi no inai hitsuji no yoni yowari hate uchi hishigare te iru no omite fukaku aware mareta to arimas. Koko de wa mo desu tachi wa shies no taido sono aware mi mo mite iru de shou. And here we know that Jesus is also being watched by the disciples, and the disciples are learning from him this attitude of compassion as well. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Soku de deshitachi ni iwarita, shukaku wa oi ga hataraki te ga sukunai. だから収穫のために働き手を送ってくださるように収穫の主に願いなさい。彼はもう収穫のための働き手が増えるように祈ったところですね。弟子たちもそう言われて祈ったはずですけれども、弟子たちは何を期待していた私たちはわかりません。でもこのちょっと後12人の弟子は使徒として任命されてシエスの呼びかけを聞きましたそしてここに私たちが学べることは祈る時私たちも自分が神様の答えの一部となる準備をすべきです何か教会のために祈ればご自分もその答えの一部となるかもしれません。国土の備えが必要です。So here Jesus says, pray that the Lord would send workers into his harvest field. Now the disciples, I don't know what they expected, but they probably prayed as Jesus had told them to. And I don't know whether they were surprised or not, but shortly after this, 12 of them were selected to become apostles and sent out to do ministry. There's a lesson for us here that when we pray, we should be prepared to be part of God's answer to that prayer. And here we are in Luke 6.13. We see uh, not necessarily the next day, but shortly after. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. Asani naruto, tsugi no asadata ka wakaranai deste mo. そのちょっと後のことですね。明日になると、弟子たちを呼び集め、その中から12人を選んで、使徒と名付けられた。この人名を与えてですね、使徒として。それで、働き手が与えられて、神様の向きにの働きのためです。And here, of course, workers have been provided. The Lord of the harvest has provided these twelve to go out and work in the harvest field. Now, why 12 disciples? Well, I think we must consider that there were also 12 tribes of Israel and that these 12 uh, apostles uh, represent the ministry to the 12 tribes of Israel, showing that all of Israel will receive this ministry. それはもうイスラエルには十二部族があったことを継ぐ思い浮かびます。それでイスラエル全体にこのミニストリー、この福音が伝えられるように、十二人はその十二部族のためでしょう。その意味も含まれていると思います。また、住所から見てみましょう。住所一節から。Let's take a look starting in Matthew 10:1. He called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority 
to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. Yes, wa jini nin no desho o yobi yose. Kigare te de ni tai suru ken no o o sazuki ni natta. Kigare te de o oidashi. Are you the Bioki or was it I or Yasutame de Atta? These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Jini no Shito no Nawa, Tsugi no Tori de Aru. Mazu Petro to Yobariru, Shimon to Sono Kyodai Andade. Zebedai no Ko Yakobuto, Sono Kyodai Yohane. Suzuki Maska, Filippo to Barotoro Mai, Thomas to Chozenin no Matai, Arufai no Ko Yakobu to Tadai, Neshin to no Shimon. So ni Yesu Uregita Iskariata no Yudu de Aru. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the zealot and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. So here we have the the twelve apostles given by name, called by Jesus. Koko de wa juni no shito ga mo shiesu ni nen mei sarete iru tokoro desu. Now we should be aware these are not the only disciples called apostles in the New Testament, but these twelve certainly have a very special role. Mo shite oku beki desu kiri de mo these twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. Yesua kono juni nin o. Hakin Suruni Atari, Tsugi Nioni Meji Darita, Ihoji no Michini Itiwa Naranai, Mata Samaria no Machini Haitiwa Naranai, Mushiro Israel no Ieno Ushino Warita Hitsuji no Tokure Ikinasai. Kariwa Kyomi Bukai Koto Desne. This is very interesting. Jesus says where not to go, and then he says where to go. But what is the meaning of this? Why doesn't Jesus want them to go to the Gentiles or Samaritans? たしたちはもう前の勉強から覚えていることですけれども、シエスご自身はよく異邦人にまた住める人にあ、接してそこで奉仕していらっしゃいました。癒されたおっしゃっていました。しかし、この人たちはそのようにしてはいけないと言われた
まず自分の人々の間で自分の文化の中でその働きを実行すべきです。そこで始めるんですね。その後はいつかもう違法人、もう外国人にも行くかもしれません。So what is Jesus'、uh, teaching that we can understand for today? Well, I think it is, is that you have a calling on your life for some kind of ministry. You should begin to just bring that calling into life and to begin to exercise that ministry in your own culture and among your own people. And after you've learned to do that, then perhaps someday you'll also go to people of other cultures and other lands. Matai Jusho Nanasets, Matthew 10.7 As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Itte, ten no kuni wa chikazuite to nobe stainasai. Kingdom of heaven, what does that really mean? Well, there are various definitions that we could give, but I think mainly there are two things that we want to learn right now. The first is that's the spiritual realm over which God reigns as king. And the second is it's also the fulfillment on earth of God's will. Especially with regard to the cross and the resurrection. And I think perhaps at this point it's that second meaning that is really、uh, very present in this ministry of the apostles is the fulfillment of God's will on earth and the cross and the resurrection are coming near. Ten no kuni te, do you imi de shoka? Iroido te giga de kiri to omoimas keri de mo, ima no tokuro wa futatsu no imi ga daiji da to omoimas. まずそれはもう神が王として訓練する霊的な領域。それを指していることもあります。しかしもう一つは、そしてこの聖句で大事なのは、神の御心が地上で成就すること。つまり、十字架と復活の時間が近づいていることを、この使徒のメッセージにあー含まれています。もちろん、その聞く手は、その意味まだわからないですとも、後でわかったでしょう。まあ、マタイ住所に、シエスは、他の指示も、その人たちに言われましたけれども、今のところは、その七十門徒のところに進みましょう。Well, Jesus gave other instructions to the apostles in Matthew 10, but let's go on and talk about the 70. And here I have the icon of the 70 apostles, which of course is an Eastern Orthodox idea. And they've got pictures of all of the 70 apostles, they call them. In the Western Church, we just call them the 70 disciples.、Uh, but either meaning, of course, is very possible, especially when you realize that apostles can mean those 12, but it can also just mean messengers. ここでははこのの70のイコンがあってそれは東方正教会のものもですねその顔とその名の表もあります。その西方正教会では。そしてその教会では、門とまた死とと呼ばれたことがあります。それももう間違いと言えないですね。その死とという意味にはあ、メッセンジャーの意味もできますので、12人の死とと違う。役目でも同じ言葉を使っても構わないです。でも、西方教会では彼らは弟子と呼ばれています。これは、ルカ住所一節のところから始めます。And we'll look at this starting with Luke chapter 10 verse 1. After this, the Lord appointed 72 or 70 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. その後、主は他に何十人、それとも何十人を任命し、ご自分が行くつもりのすべての町や村に二人ずつ先に使わされました。どうしてもう、聖書の翻訳に違って、この数字は何十人、また何十人となっています。これはもうルカの写本にはこの違いがあります。そうどんなルカの昔からの写本を見て、それによってもう70か72と書かれています。翻訳に入ります。
So why does it say 72 or, or 70 in different translations, uh, in different translations in our Bibles? And the reason, of course, is that in the old manuscripts of Luke that were brought down from many, many centuries ago, uh, some manuscripts say 72 and others say 70. So this difference appears in our Bibles depending on which manuscript they were using at that point in their translation. But uh, before we go on from this point, let's notice that these disciples will minister in other cultures also, because they're going to go everywhere that Jesus is about to go. And of course, Jesus, as we talked about before, goes to the Samaritans, and he also goes to the Gentiles on many occasions. でも、いぶんかのとくにも行くはずとなっていますね。シエスが行くつもりの全てのマチアムレイ行きますので、シエスは良くその星も来ていました。で、どうしてこのルクによる福音書の写本はこの2つの数字72と72、あに分けて行く
まあ、ルクに戻りましょう。Let's get back to Luke. Luke 10:2, Luke 10章2節から。He told them the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Of course, this is almost exactly what we saw in、uh, Matthew chapter 9. そして彼に言われた、収穫は多いが働き手が少ない。だから収穫のために働き手を送ってくださるように、収穫の主に願いなさい。とありますね。もちろんこれはまた、九章にあった言葉とほぼ同じことですね。続きます。行きなさい。私はあなた方を使わす。それは、狼の群れに子羊を送り込むようなものだ。財布も、袋も、履物も、持っていくな。ああ、足が痛いね。途中で、誰にも挨拶をするな。And Luke 10:3 and 4: Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Do not take a purse or bag or sandals. Oh, your feet hurt, don't they? And do not greet anyone on the road. When you enter a house, first say, Peace to this house. And if a man of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. If not, it will return to you. どこかの家に入ったら、まず、この家に平和があるようにと言いなさい。平和の子がそこにいるなら、あなた方の願う平和はその人にとどまる。もしいなければ、その平和はあなた方に戻ってくる。Stay in that house eating and drinking whatever they give you, for the worker deserves his wages. Do not move around from house to house. So no ye ni tomate, so ka de da sa de do mono o tabe, mata no mi nasai. Hataraku mono ga ho shu o ukeru no wa tozen dakara de aru. Ye kara ye e to watari aru kuna. Koka de wa shies no kotoba ni mo, a no ka. 御国のために働く人は賃金をもらう権利があると教えられていますね。もうパールの手紙にもそれがあります。And here we see that Jesus also is teaching us that those who work in the kingdom ministry have a right to their wages to receive、uh, pay for that. And we see that also in Paul's letters, but it's interesting to note that Jesus teaches it here as well. When you enter a town and are welcomed, eat what is set before you, heal the sick who are there, and tell them the kingdom of God is near you. And here, kingdom of God has basically the same meaning as kingdom of heaven did in the Gospel of Matthew. どこかの町に入り、迎え入れられたら、出されるものを食べ、その町の病人を癒し、また、神の国はあなた方に近づいてと言いなさい。このルクにはもう神の国と書かれていますけれども、マタイにはもう天の国という言葉にもうほぼ同じ意味となっていますね。でもここからはもう警告、注意の言葉があります。みんなのためですね。But when you enter a town and are not welcome, go into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that sticks to our feet, we wipe off against you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is near. So this is a warning for those who are hostile to God's messengers、uh, or for sinners in general. しかし、町に入っても、迎え入れられなければ、広場に出て、こういなさい。足についてこの町の誇り、債も払い落としてあなた方に返す。しかし神の国が近づいたことを知れと。ここではもう神の使徒に敵対する人々への警告があって、また罪人の全体に警告の言葉があります。言っておくが、かの日にはその町よりまだソドムの I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. It's a very severe warning. But let's go ahead and gather up what we've learned、uh, here or seen in these verses. 
でもこの先に読まれた聖句全体にどのような意味があってもうちょっとまとめましょう。奉仕のためのパートンが出ると思います。もう何か奉仕の呼びかけがあれば最初は訓練を受けることがあっていろいろ方法でその訓練を受けるかもしれませんけれども訓練が必要です。任命されて発見されることも大事です。まずご自分の文化の中のご自分の人の中その奉仕してその呼びかけを実行すべきです。後に他の国へも行くかもしれません。奉仕はもう外国人の間にもするかもしれません。I think when we look at the things that we read today, we see a sort of pattern for ministry developing where If someone has a calling, then they need to receive training and then they need to be appointed and sent. And、uh, generally speaking, they, they have to begin in their own home culture among their own people,、uh, bringing that ministry into action and learning. And then later, possibly, they might also receive a calling to go somewhere else and minister. Now, I want to look at one more thing, and that is. Uh, a couple of verses right after Jesus' resurrection. でも、シエスの復活と後のこともちょっと見てみたいですね。この絵がありますけれども、もうこの弟子たち、人たちはもう半分びっくりして、半分ぐらい喜んでいます。シエスは突然終われて、その間に。As you can see in this picture, you know, some of the disciples are looking very doubtful. And they're very surprised, and others are starting to show signs of joy. And there is Jesus just appeared to them suddenly after his resurrection. John 20 19 and following. Johanna, did you show you two sets to some of the no seku mo animas ne? On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. その日、すなわち週の初めの日の夕方、弟子たちはユリア人を恐れて、自分たちのいる家の戸に鍵をかけていた。そこへ、イエスが来て真ん中に立ち、あなた方に平和があるようにと言われた。これは復活の後ですね。This is after the resurrection. And after he said this, he showed them his, his hands and his side, and the disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. So, he said, 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 He said,父が私を使わしになったように、私もあなた方を使わす。Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. I love how the word peace keeps coming up here. 平和の言葉は何度も出ていることは素晴らしいと思います。What does it mean to be sent like Jesus was sent? Jesus says he's sending them as the Father sent him. でも、イエスのように発見されることはどういう意味でしょうかそれは、イエスはおっしゃったのは、父が私を使わしになったように、私もあなた方を使わす。でも、イエスのように発見される、イエスのように使わされることはどういうことでしょうか Well, first of all, Jesus was sent to teach and he was sent to minister among the people. He was sent to, to be there with them. And of course, he was also sent to suffer and die for them, to give his life for them and for truth and righteousness. He's also brought to save people and to help many people. シエスはもうまず教えのために来て使わされたことがあって、もうその人々の間に住むこと、生きることがあって、そして悲しんで苦しむこともありましてね。それは、御国のため、私たちの救いのための苦しみだったと、そして、義と真理のためのこともありました。それで、シエスはもう人の助け、人の救いのために使わされました。But more than all of those, I think there's one more very important meaning that we see in the following verse. でも、次の聖句に、もう一つの最も大事な意味が
教えられていると思います。それは聖霊のことですね。And that is the Holy Spirit. And with that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. こう言ってから彼らに息を吹きかけて言われた聖霊を受けなさい。シエスは聖霊の導きで、それはもう父なる神様は聖霊にを通してシエスに導いてくださったことと、聖霊の力の中にその星を去りました。私たちもシエスのように、聖霊が必要。私たちはその力とその導きの中に欲しいするのです。And,、uh, you know, Jesus ministered in, in the power and the presence, the leading of the Holy Spirit. The, the Father、uh, spoke to him through the Spirit on many occasions. And as we see that, we realize that when we're sent like Jesus, we're also sent、uh, with that same Holy Spirit that was in Jesus. So we minister as Jesus did. イエスにあったと同じ聖霊、それは私たちがイエスのように聖霊によって欲しいするためです。And then we see that Jesus breathed on them. シエスは息を吹きかけましたね。And this brings to mind back when Adam was created in Genesis chapter 2. それを気づくと、もうアダムの話、その物語、創世記二章が思い浮かぶでしょう。Let's look at verse 2 7 in Genesis. The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. So we see here that breath of life、uh, that the Lord God gave man is what made him a living being. And so Jesus breathing on the disciples, on the apostles,、uh, is saying the same thing. He's giving them life, He's giving them a new life. Uh, in him and in the Holy Spirit. Shunaru kami wa tsuchi adama no chiri de hito adamu o katachi zukuri. Sono hane ni inochi no iki o fuki ire rare ta. Hito wa koste ikiru mono to natta. Koko de wa sono iki ni inochi ga ata to wakarimas. Shunaru kami sama wa iki o fuki ire te tokuro wa adamu wa mo. 生きるものとなりましたシエスは弟子たちにその息を吹いたところはその弟子たちも新しく生まれて新しい命をもらうことがあったでしょうそしてその新しい命の中でその弟子たちはもう出て欲しいしたでしょうその後精霊はもう力で強い形でその弟子たちに来ます。もうここでは、弟子たちはもう聖霊を受けていますね。Of course, after this, the disciples receive the Holy Spirit dramatically with power, but here they're already receiving the Spirit, they've already got that new life. ここでは、弟子たちはもうその新しい命をいただいているんですね。この絵をご覧ください。Take a look at this、uh, painting also. Here, this is the creation. We see all the animals were created, and then Adam was created. And we see Jesus there in the role of Lord God, because he is God come in the flesh,、uh, breathing on Adam that breath of life. この絵の中では、もう動物たちは描かれていますね。それ動物の想像の後のことで、アダムも想像されて、そして、シエスはこの主なる神様の役目を果たして、その息を、吹いてアダムに命を与えているところですね。それは、シエスはその想像の時から私たちの間に欲しいされていらっしゃることを教えられる絵とその息は与えたことはあります。So、you see here, this is celebrating Jesus' role in the creation and ministry among us from the very beginning and that giving of life in the breath. 生きようとしてその命を与えることがあります。精霊の力なんです。And this is the power of the Spirit also. Let's pray. お祈りしましょう。And this time I'll pray in Japanese. 今度は日本語でお祈りいたします。イエスキリスト父なる神様。たちたちは皆褒めてたいます。見業を感謝します。特に十字架と復活の見業。それを通してあなたは私たちに新しい命を与えてくださった
そして精霊を与えてくださったことも含まれているです。どうか私たちには毎日息を吹いてくださるように精霊を与えてください。私たちは精霊の満たしの中に生きることができますように。そしてその精霊の力によって、精霊の導きによって、あなたの見前にふすわし星ができますように、助けて導きください。御心のままに呼びかけを与えください。一人一人に何か教会の中の星の役目があるでしょう。その時期があるでしょう。あなたの御心のままにそれを与え、導いて、必要な訓練と知恵を教えてください。そして、導いて、その星を実行することができるように、あなたに栄光を返す働きとなりますように。この世の中に、悲しんでいる人、苦しんでいる人が多いです。特に、現代のユクライナの方の戦争状態もすぐ思いますけれども、そのウクライナの恵みを注いで平和を与えください。そしてこの日本でも多くの人は苦しんでいます。助けてください。癒しを与えください。そして悲しんでいる人々に新しい喜びを与えてください。励ましを与えてください。助けてください。そして私たち一人一人に必要なものを備えてくださいますように。そして私たちが良い働きができるように導いてください。私たちだけじゃなくて、家族、隣人、親戚にも、なる恵みが与えられますように、イエスの皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン